Hey guys, welcome to my channel Pandora Art. My name is Pam and in this video I'm going to show you how I created this awesome ocean inspired resin art clock. So first of all I'm taping the back of this round MDF board. I used this to create something else and it didn't work so I'm repurposing this board to create this artwork. Um, so this is an important step because it will keep the back of the artwork nice and tidy. So once I've taped the back, I'm cutting the edges to remove the excess tape. So these are the stuff that I've used um, to create this art and in the description below I have listed um, what I've used so please have a look. So here I'm going to mix some black pebbles with some resin. I've got the black pebbles from a dollar store and the resin I'm going to mix um, is a clear resin and I've mixed that with one to one ratio. So one part resin to one part hardener. I got this from um, online. I'll put the link below in the description. In total, I've mixed about 200 grams of resin, so that's 100 grams resin to 100 grams hardener. And I'm going to lay the pebbles um, on the board once I've thoroughly mixed that with the resin. I'm then laying down the pebbles mixture on the MDF board where I wanted the shoreline on the beach um, is going to be. and. Um, spreading the pebbles to create something um, that looks like a pebble beach. So I, I got this inspiration from my all-time favorite beaches at Cape Shank. So this um, place called Cape Shank um, and it has a, a rocky pebble beach so that's why I thought of creating this beach uh, with black pebbles um, and adding some rocks later on. Once the pebbles are down, I'm adding craft sand to the edge of the pebbles to create the shoreline. I wanted to cover any gaps that were left from the pebbles where you can see the, the MDF board. So with adding the sand, I'm kind of creating um, a sandy, rocky beach. I'm adding a bit more clear resin on top of the pebbles so I can cover any remaining gaps um, by adding a bit more sand and pebbles.
Okay, so I'm done with adding sand and pebbles and now I'll mix Prussian blue pigment with some resin. Um, I'll put the product name in the description below. Um, what I wanted to create here is um, the depth of ocean with this dark blue. It almost looks like black or dark grey. I got this pigment color from Melbourne Art Direct and they got a pretty good collection of resin art supplies. So have a look at guys. Um, I'll put their website link in the description. I'm now adding another pigment color mixed with resin. This is peacock blue and it has a nice shimmer to it. They're also called mica powder. So I got these from Amazon and again I'll put the link in the description below. Once you put your contrasting resin colors, you really need to give it a blend. So here I'm mixing and blending the colors a bit more before I move on to pouring my next color. So this is a lighter shade of blue compared to the peacock uh, blue which I added earlier. This is also a mica powder and it's called sky blue. I'm adding this different blues so I get like a nice shaded blue effect on my artwork. So I'll put all my blues down and mix in them to give that blended effect. Um, it's really important that um, you blend your colors um, nicely so that it doesn't give that prominent um, differentiating look between the colors and it looks nicely blended. So here I'm adding a bit of resin and sand because I wanted to install a small rock to give my shoreline a more natural um, beach look. Again, this is inspired by Cape Shank visits, so um, hence the rock and all the pebbles around it. So now I'm adding white alcohol ink to create some waves and this one from Piñata, I'll put this in the description below as well. So I added the alcohol ink straight on to the resin. So little did I know as a beginner that you don't add the alcohol ink straight on to the resin to make the waves. So I wanted you to learn from my mistake and never do that again. I'm using the heat gun here to create and blow the alcohol ink to create the waves. I've then used um, a wooden stick to spread the alcohol ink and remove the blobs of paint so I had some success there.
So since then, I've learned from my mistake and mixed the alcohol ink with a bit of white pigment color and resin and laying small strips of white, then used the heat gun to blow the waves. It's important to get the right consistency of the white resin when you're creating these waves. So I just added one or two drops of alcohol and a quarter teaspoon of white pigment color, um, which was mixed in with a bit of um, resin and it's about 220 grams of resin here. And um, I added that to create the waves then. So here I'm adding some cool features to go on the clock. After all, this is a clock. So I wanted to indicate where the 3, 6, 9 and 12 positions of the clock um, by adding some shells. So after 48 hours, that's the dried result guys. It looks pretty good and I'm really happy with the result. Love the look. Now to install the clock arms, I'm going to drill the resin. As you saw earlier, I've taped the back of the, the board, including where I had the hole drilled um, on the board. And now it's filled with resin. I can now see where I need to drill through the resin. So first of all, I'm going to use a small drill bit to make a tiny hole and then use a bigger drill bit to expand the hole so that it's big enough to insert the clock movement kick. So the clock movement kit is now ready to be installed and I've now put in the accessories that came along with it. I got this clock movement kit from eBay and I'll put the link in the description. So in goes the hour hand first and then the minute hand and lastly the seconds hand. It 
You then put a double A battery and see if that works. And it works. Yay! So guys, that's the clock hanging on my wall. And I'm really happy with the outcome. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, what do you think, guys? Um, just let me know your comments and if there's anything I can improve on. Um, I hope you got something out of this video today. Um, I hope I managed to inspire you to try out something new and, I, and don't be afraid to experiment with that. Um, I believe everyone is an artist of some sort, so give it a try. So if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos of me doing art experiments, um, please subscribe. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time.